Talk about <laughs> talking about funny accents. Can we talk about Avenue Five? Oh, yeah. We've got, uh, oh my we, god, we totally we've got can. Hugh Laurie on there just what a killing great segue. it. <laughs> yes, killing it with his fake British accent and his or his fake American his accent, fake American accent that he can't hold. Yeah, every time he gets, he gets frustrated, mad, he just he loses going it. back to to his British one. <laughs> so uh, I, I I love how like uh, like, like he just switches accents so flawlessly. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's. He kills it in this show. So, so let, let, let's just set set the stage for a second here. So basically, Avenue Five. It's the the new comedy series from the creators of Veep, which was the uh, Julia Louise Dreyfus political satire comedy on HBO. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is like a science fiction show. It's about a luxury cruise liner called Avenue Five, uh, which is run by this company called Judd Industries, and uh, the character of Judd is like this, Josh Gad. <laughs> he's Josh Gad, but he's kind of like an Elon Musk type. Uh, like I don't, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, uh, it, like, like, like Elon Musk type in terms of like uh, being an entrepreneur and and doing like he's a trust fund baby. Like, like, yeah, like he's, weird like, stuff. he's a complete and total yeah, but dumbass. Yeah. yeah, again, setting the stage. So basically, he, he's this like very wealthy independent financer who creates a luxury space cruise line for space tourism. And uh, this is his fifth ship, his fifth voyage, and uh, something goes terribly wrong in the first episode that knocks the ship off course so that uh, what was supposed to be like a six-week cruise, uh, space cruise, basically turns into a potential three-year journey back to Earth. And it's filled with all these like bizarre characters, uh, the captain of which is played by... Um, uh, Hugh Laurie from from House, and uh, we have uh, all the the ship crews like people and like the passengers and the mission uh, control people at home and stuff like that. And so um, when we first started watching this, me and Jude were instantly on board, but Alex and Matt were both like the show's stupid. I don't, I don't think I, it's I funny. Was, I was in that party as well. It, and, like it took me because like, you were like we were going to talk about it, and I was like, oh man, I couldn't. Like I watched yeah. the first couple episodes. Like, this was, it was this hard was to get so, into, huh? It, it was really almost was. too dumb. It was, but yeah. I, I gave it a chance, and yeah. it was like, and it's one of those shows where like because it's a half hour comedy, you have to binge it in order to truly appreciate how brilliant it is. Um, because when we were first watching the show, it was week to week. Yeah, and because I, I'd kind of watched Veep in the same way, I kind of knew what to expect with it. I, I, I just knew the show was going to get really good. But uh, you guys were all just like, I can't watch this. This is dumb. It's not funny. <laughs> no, that makes sense because it was better binging the last, ha- you know, like the last, I think, seven episodes. Because mm-hmm. there's 10 episodes. Or is there not? Nine. There, there's nine. nine. Yeah. So, like, I binged the last six episodes because yeah. I watched the first three, like, weekly. And it's it was, hard. Yeah, it, it was hard it, to it, get through. It, it, it was. So, um, so yeah. what's your guys' opinion now that you've gotten to see the whole first season? Daniel, go ahead. You can start. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, uh, like, it grew on me because the... The situation is so absurd and the people in it are just so – like I've never been on an actual cruise. I'm actually one of those guys kind of like a Bill Burr guy who talks shit about people who go on cruises. I'm very much on board with <laughs> Bill Maher's last <laughs> rant. I don't know if you saw his, his rant about how they should close down the cruise the cruise line industry. It was on his last episode of Real Time mm. uh, uh, last week. Um, I'm very much on board with that. So having that mind frame watching this – um, it was it was funny because I was like, yeah, these are the type of dipshits that do this kind of thing. <laughs> Just these these clueless, like, wow, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. <laughs> the, clueless, you know, rich, entitled. They're they're, they're walking memes. They're, they are walking memes. <laughs> like you know what, like you were saying earlier, it was supposed to be six weeks and a potential three years. And in the last episode, that that lady who likes to think Spoilers. she runs. Oh, yeah. you know, we're doing full I, there's going to be tons now. of spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now like in, she jettisoned everything out of the wrong airlock, and so now it's like yeah. an eight-year mission or something, <laughs> yeah. or an eight-year cruise. I'm like, oh my god, these people are. So- and, and by the way, the physics in this show do uh, not make no, any sense, no. but they are used very funny. That was uh, one of the sticking way. points that I had with it when I was first watching it, being like a sci-fi fan, Star Trek, Stargate, stuff like that, yeah. where they try to at least try and like stick to real-world physics. And I was watching the show, and I'm like, this yeah, doesn't they, make they any don't sense. Care. No. This is like Orville science. Yeah. 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 It's it's, um, but it's so, if you can kind of just enjoy it for the ridiculousness that yeah. it is, 
Uh, it, it, I mean, it's really dark humor too. Oh yeah, yeah. It got that, that was the show is very I was, dark. I was very surprised like, like the, about the airlock episode. Yeah. Oh my god, that yeah. was so good. And those idiots kept going back <laughs> it's, out. It's like I work in Hollywood in the special effects industry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. They should have thrown that lady out. I was thinking yeah. of you when I saw I that character. I was like, I oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. That stands for visual effects. FX. I know what VFX. visual effects means. Yeah. That's not what the F stands for. <laughs> but uh, no, like uh, it got really – I actually find myself wanting to see season two. Oh, yeah. But, but no, Hugh, Hugh Laurie is, is, is perfect. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, he was he, definitely he's definitely the, the, the best part of that Dude, show. Dude, that part where he takes his wig off. Oh, my God. That, I was like, oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> it took him so long to do it. He's like peeling it off of his head. <laughs> but, 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 but like the, the one uh, crew member who like kept the wig because oh, she kind of liked it. <laughs> she, oh, just it noticed, she noticed it, she put it up on her mantle next to her workstation. Yeah, it was yeah. just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was so beat up. Like he put like he, put, he puts it back on and, and, and then lady just takes off. This is fake. Just like everything else in his face. It's like episode. a movie yeah. set. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like, no, it's just it's just, it's just cheap. cheap. <laughs> That's cost effective. <laughs> oh, yeah. and the other thing too. Okay, well, <clears throat> Vader, what was your uh, starting opinion, and then having finished it, what's your opinion now? This um, show? when I first started it, I watched the first two or three episodes, and I did not like it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, it was really hard for me to get into. Insane. And then I think right around the time they launched the shit out the, out the <laughs> pipe, and they created the the, 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 shit, the shit ring around the the, 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 the yeah, ship. Because that was the Pope. <laughs> that was that was the start of it. Like. Like, okay, I, this is good. I, I think I'm going to be into they, this They show. established that <laughs> the starship is so massive that it has its own gravity. It its own gravity, yeah. So, like, anything that they shoot out, if it, there's not enough velocity, it gets caught in, in this gravity mm. circle around the ship. And throughout the, the season, there's, like, this running joke of stuff that just gets sucked into <laughs> like the a, ship's gravity, like dead like bodies. Dead bodies. <laughs> and, and then they, they, they have this poop shield, which is, like, a legit thing where, like, the human waste from the ship gets recirculated to absorb the solar radiation. Yep. And uh, it springs it's the a only leak. thing in the show that actually might be legit. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it springs a leak, and it just starts shooting all this shit out the side of the ship, and it gets caught in the gravity. So like, there's just this ring of shit that's like rotating around the ship constantly. It's like, ooh, let's put lights on it, make it pretty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but they're like, if we have to look at it, we might as well make it pretty. So that, like, they they create like this laser show. Yeah. yeah. And, and and once the lights hit it, they see the face of J- of Pope John Paul II <laughs> in the shit. And so, like, people start getting really religious and they, like, congregate in the chapel to watch uh, John Paul's face come by every hour or so. <laughs> they have, like, little pictures of him, like, posted on yeah, the wall. Yeah. I, I, also, I also get a big kick out of the... Uh tours of the bridge yeah oh yeah the, of the non-working fake bridge <laughs> yeah with the so actors in that yeah yeah it's funny because like because judd is so image conscious yeah that, like they hired not actual like like you know spaceship pilots for like the ship they just hired a bunch of actors mm-hmm. to portray spaceship like what people think spaceship pilots should look like and they don't actually control anything on the bridge like the bridge is like everything on the ship is on autopilot nobody knows how to work it <laughs> forward thrust is nominal sir <laughs> yeah <laughs> they just repeat the same script it's like a I, like, I did like the uh, the point where uh, Hugh Laurie's character quit as being captain and they brought yeah. in Neelix to replace him <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah he's sitting up there and he's like tell me uh, he said he asked him to do something and they responded with that script and he's like it's not really what i asked you but okay we can deal with that <laughs> and, and he he's like, like standing at the it's movie. like oh, yeah. it's funny this thing's not reacting yeah. <laughs> and he, and he looks his character is like an actual astronaut yeah but he's like retired and he, he's just kind of like on the sh- on the ship as like a uh as an attraction almost yeah but like he has some great lines like uh some like uh where that guy from the office who's uh, the lady's husband, he's like, maybe I'll grow a ponytail like, like that guy. He's like, oh, no, you can't grow this ponytail. I have very strong follicles. <laughs> yeah. He's like this old hippie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When I, when I first started watching this show, I found it super hard, difficult to get into. I was like, oh, this, it was too dumb for me. The, the comedy was like on that level of like just overly stupid. And uh, I couldn't get into it, but then I knew we were going to do the season one recap of it, and I was like, okay, I gotta, I'm just going to binge. I think I binged five episodes in a row, mm-hmm. and I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just the difference in watching it binge worthy versus yeah. week to week. But I found the comedy was they must have upped the the 
not the dial on the comedy a little bit because when I was watching it, I was like, this is so much funnier than the first couple episodes. Yeah. Like, they no, really, I think they eased into the dark humor and then they just kind of yeah, like oh, turned yeah. it all the I, way I up. completely disagree because it, like from the first episode onward, it's always been like this. But the thing about these comedies is that once you get to know the characters and you kind of understand what they're going for in terms of the tone of the show, uh, you just, you, you get into it. Like, yeah. like for instance, having the second president be an Alexa. <laughs> <basically>. <laughs> like there are two presidents in this future and yeah. one of them is human and one of them is just like a AI yeah. that, that is, is like a little Alexa like thing that makes decisions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your acquisition or what did he say? No, no right. well, he proves oh. it, but he's like, you gotta, you gotta kill 500 people. Yeah. Can you? Like, Jesus. Like that. Only a, a machine would be that cold and then, calculated. And then the delay when she's like, they told me that I had to kill 300 or 500 people. And then it just cut. And they're like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. The, like, like this show is filled with great little gags. Like, for instance, there's like a 30 second delay between communication from Earth and the ship. Yeah. And so every time they have to, to do like a conversation with people on Earth, it's like so awkward and nobody knows what the f- is being said. <laughs> it's like watching a news network, like try to talk to their anchors out in the field. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that it's delay. Like, always takes a second. This one is like, oh, okay, like Bob. Seconds. Yeah, we got this going on. But, but like once you get to know the characters, like this show becomes like so much more like rich and in depth like for instance the unfunny comic the stand up comic oh, yeah. oh, the kid oh, from yesterday yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's just like just like really bad at telling jokes yeah <laughs> and uh, th- then you have um my favorite character Matt the uh the oh, cru- my God, cruise line guy. Uh, director guy oh who, yeah but he's think, also from the office too well, well, yeah. but but he's also from um uh oh uh, silicon valley Oh, okay. Uh, he was in that as well. Played a completely different character. Well, you can thank him for all those airlock deaths. Yeah. <laughs> that was so that funny. Was, oh, my God. And, and it was this great. all a simulation. They really went, they really simulation. went <laughs> dark. I mean, there was that one family with a kid. Yes. That, that I, was I, very dark. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they, they left their kid in a coma yeah. and went on the, on the cruise. And then as soon as they die, yeah. they get the message that their yeah. son woke up in a coma. <laughs> yeah. and people and are like, what are we going to tell them? Yeah. So, so, so for those of you who haven't seen the episode yet, so there's this whole subplot where – uh, they have to basically get rid of 500 crew members worth of weight on on the the ship in order to try to uh, get home in a reasonable amount of time, like instead of three years, like three weeks, something yeah. like that. So they're, they're all trying to uh, figure out what's non-essential on the ship that they can eject out the rear airlock in order to give them an acceleration boost. And while they're doing this, um, people are kind of like on edge and pissed off and stuff like that. And th- there's all these little things going on with the crew that makes the passengers think that they're being lied to. Actually, they think they're on like a game show. Yeah, like yeah reality, reality show. Like, like Big they, Brother. Yeah, they, yeah. they think they're on like a fake reality show simulation type thing. And so it gets to the point where they believe that if they go out the airlock, they'll just be able to go back home. And like they're, they're, they're not actually it's trapped like on the, a spaceship. Yeah, like a Truman yeah, show. Yeah, like there's even like a line yeah. where she's like, and, they're probably in the green room. Right and now. and all, all the crew are like, no, we're actually in space. If you go in the airlock, you're going to die. And there's this one woman who's like, I'm a visual effects artist in Hollywood and I can spot special effects from a mile away and this is all fake. Yeah. And everyone believes her. And so like there's this one guy uh, where they, they they kind of had this couple who was like a joke throughout the series where like they went on a cruise while their only son was in a coma and um, they're like, we have to get back to our son. And the the, the father goes into the airlock and the minute the airlock opens, he just, he just freezes. freezes. Yeah. And, like there's little droplets like, of blood. Go no, then his eyes pop yeah, out or something. Pops, too. Yeah. It was like yeah. his eyes exploded. And, 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 yeah. and everyone like freaks out and, and the woman's like, No, like, that was fake. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, That was so fake. <laughs> and so like people keep going in the airlock to prove it's fake and dying. <laughs> and the crew's just like, What are you even guys though, doing? Even though one, uh, what was her name? Sarah? Like yeah, she hits Sarah. the side oh, and her yeah. arm like breaks off. <laughs> yeah. And then the visual yeah. effects lady's finally like, Okay, that might be real. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why would they make that an effect? Yeah. And it, it's funny because was, Sarah was one of my favorite characters because she yeah. was part of the, the bridge crew. Yeah. And she was in, in her day job, but she was a hand model. <laughs> oh, 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 and it's her hand. And it's yeah. oh, I, I, I missed oh, that. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, like she, and she had this weird thing where she was always in character as, quote unquote, Sarah. Sarah. But <laughs> So people kept asking, is, is this character Sarah or real Sarah talking she's, and uh, towards the end there she was like even I don't know at this point it's very subtle, <laughs> she was it? always in character like, like she was like I've been in character for for th- three weeks now yeah. and it's getting really hard so <laughs> let's go across the board uh, favorite character and favorite episode Matt what do you got favorite character, character and favorite episode uh, probably the captain 
you know, Hugh Laurie. Yeah. I, I don't know why. He just kind of stands out in my head. And my favorite He's, episode would definitely be the, the, the shit breaking line. Okay. And when the poop goes yeah. all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, so. what's great about Hugh Laurie is like in, in the final episode of the season – um, they did this thing where, so like they have to search for Matt and Matt, Matt like mm-hmm. changed the airlock codes because mm-hmm. he was so traumatized about everyone killing themselves in the yeah. airlock. Well, it was his and, big and, inspiring and, speech. Yeah. yeah. And, and they needed, <laughs> they needed to get the airlock codes in order to eject the, um, uh, the, the excess cargo, um, at a certain time. Otherwise they were going to miss their window. So they're, they're searching everywhere for Matt and Hugh Laurie, like, like he, like they go to his quarters and he, he's like, I think I know where he might be. And it's just like a real take charge, like Star Trek captain moment. Mm-hmm. And then like they go to the place where he thinks he might be. He's not there. He's and not he, there. he's like, I don't know why I, I thought I could do anything. <laughs> I'm not a real captain. <laughs> I'm not effective. I'm an actor. I don't do anything. <laughs> like like, like, like they, they gave him this moment where like he was like showing real leadership. And then, then he just, just comes to realize yeah. I'm not a leader. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> why am I doing this? <laughs> it gets completely undercut by reality. Yeah. Of why you don't actually know what you're doing. <laughs> I love that part where the guy. I think he was with Judd, right? Yeah. He was with Judd at that point. And they go into this big white room with the fan at the end. And Judd's like, what is this place? And he's like, it's the antechamber for the, the thrusters or whatever. And he's like, why does the thrusters need an antechamber? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You don't know anything. It's just yeah, an excuse was... to have like a big white room yeah. <laughs> with a fan. <laughs> And, and, oh, then, and when they finally find Matt, they were like, we thought you were in the thruster antichamber. He's like, what would I be doing there? And they're like, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been just wandering around the yeah. ship the whole time. There's a lot of those. like, real, And you just mentioned, uh, just brought one to my attention was the hand, the yeah. hand model thing. There's a lot of those setup mm-hmm. things in the beginning that are like paid off in, in hilarious ways at the end. Yeah. So it's a good stuff. Uh, Danny, favorite character and favorite episode? Um. The airlock episode's got to be my favorite episode. Just, just, the, be, yeah. just the illustration of the retardation of these people <laughs> was just like, I was like, how many more people are going to keep going in? I honestly like, thought they were going to kill more. Oh, I thought it was wow. going to be like a whole chunk of them. Yeah. I thought that was going to be how they got the like, 500, yeah, 500, yeah, 500 people. <laughs> um, yeah. And then how I, uh, but the Hugh, Hugh Laurie's character by far for me is the, uh, is the most interesting Um you know, all the, he's got a, you know, like the divorce thing. You know, <laughs> all the tri- all, yeah, the tri divorce yeah, or whatever. Like yeah, because he has a husband and a wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's in a poly relationship. <laughs> you know, when they ki- he gets kicked out of, like, when him and Joss, get, uh, Gad's character, Judd, get into that fight, and then he basically fires him. And he's like, no, I quit. But then he takes away all of his privileges, so nobody will feed him <laughs> and stuff like that. It's like, where am I supposed to sleep? Yeah, and he gets kicked out of his room. <laughs> he's got know. no Judd bucks. <laughs> yeah, no Judd bucks. So. Um, yeah, no, definitely Hugh Laurie and definitely the, uh, that airlock episode. I want to, so dark. Before I forget, I did want to say that, um, if you look at the, the titles of these episodes, they're very much titled the same way we title our episodes of the podcast, where we just take a random funny line from the movie and we make it the title. And I was like looking through the titles of the episodes and I'm like, oh my God, they're doing the same thing. They just take some (laughs) random line, has nothing to do with the overall plot. They just say like, oh, this guy said something funny and this kind of has something to do with whatever they're is talking about. Is that what about. we do? Yeah. I do have Isn't a, that what we do? I do have a I question. Know. I, I don't know why you do these things. Cats isn't, the movie? <laughs> the movie? Uh, isn't, uh, uh, doesn't Will Smith have something to do with this? He's a, he's a producer on it. Okay. Really? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I saw that. his name in the, like, pop up in the credits. But it was, oh, cool. I didn't see hey, what yeah, it was. Yeah, he's one of the producers. Oh. So that just means he just pay, helped pay for it, probably. Yeah. Uh, he probably helped get it made. Yeah. Matt's a producer on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. I don't do anything. <laughs> He does more than you think. Um, <laughs> he tells me to shut up and do work when I'm like being lazy. Get to work. <laughs> Make the thumbnails. I, I, I'm, like, I'm like the real life Judd. Yeah. <laughs> like Iris. You're way. You're way. Oh, more okay. So you're way more do, yeah. My okay. My favorite episode. I, I think it probably have to be the airlock episode. Also, just because how dark it went. Yeah. And yeah. I loved how dark it went. And, yeah. and and you know, like as dark as this show gets, it's hilarious. It's, yeah. It is. <laughs> It's like so ridiculously dark where you're, you're, you're just like, okay, I'm yeah, on board with you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was probably my favorite episodes. And I think Iris might actually, besides Hugh Laurie, because Hugh Laurie I think is above and beyond most anybody on the show. But uh, Iris, I, her just complete salt and angst towards oh, yeah. everybody. I'm yeah. like, I love that woman. And it sucks because now she's like, she's not on the ship anymore. I know. I wonder yeah. what they're going to do with that. That was a real bummer. She, I, I think she's going to start running uh, Mission Control no, season yeah, two. Yeah, no, that might be true. That would be good. That would be yeah. perfect for her. <laughs> the, there was one thing I did notice about this last episode that I thought was kind of cool. And that was there was a lot of stuff behind the scenes in the belly of the of the ship. 
when they were out looking for Matt and everything. And I kind of maybe compare the strip down here and the big fancy casinos that work oh, at. Oh, yeah. Because you, you go up on the casino level and the restaurants and everything, and everything is gorgeous and beautiful and looks expensive. And, <laughs> and you know, it looks expensive. Okay, it's yeah. plastic. It's all it's all plastic. And you, know, you go through the little employees-only door, and it's like a maze of boxes and dirty, dirty uh, floors, and they do these things going from paint. And these things going for miles, yeah. and it's just it's it's kind of cool, you yeah. know, how they kind of captured that. I used to work security on the strip yeah. too. Well, yeah, same it, thing. It's very true to um, actual uh, cruise ships too, like because like the the employees' quarters and stuff like they were showing pictures of it because you know the coronavirus yeah. Yeah. It was real big on cruise ships and yeah i mean like they they pack them in there like the their their <laughs> rooms their little bunks and everything right. just, can we talk about the gag where like the uh the ship's crew crew like housekeeping crew started like leaving like towels in the shape of sphincters on people's yeah. beds <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there was, like, like, like little, just fun with people i really thought that they were going to go farther with that because they introduced that in like what episode four one, one, episode yeah, one, was it episode yeah. one? okay they they I thought they were going to go, keep going with that and have like some some kind of like a crew revolt where they were just going to stop cooking food for these people yeah. and it never went that way. Maybe we'll see that in season two. But well, my favorite character is my namesake Matt because like like in every episode, like every scene he's in, he just steals uh, and and <laughs> it's he, so awkward. <laughs> he, he is yeah. awkward, but like. You know, when he's playing like like counselor or therapist and he has like the word cloud with like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like male bitch. Male bitch. You know, like, like stuff like that. But like like if you just listen to his interactions, like every time like he speaks, everything that comes out of his mouth is hilarious. And like you don't always catch it on the first viewing. But if you go back and like wa- and like just watch his scenes, like his stuff is is phenomenal there's a great example of that when he was talking about uh heading to the bar for uh to to bury your father whatever your daddy issues in alcohol and he's like and don't worry your dad won't be there because he never is <laughs> it's just like yeah. jesus yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but, 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 but even the final episode where like he's hiding and everyone's looking for him and like judd and and uh, hugh laurie finally find him and 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 they're like like and, he, and he's like why were you looking for me he's like because you were hiding and he's like well, aren't we all hiding? This <laughs> <laughs> is a big metaphor. <laughs> yeah. He does that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like with the airlock speech, he's like, it's, life is a simulation. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and this is a simulation. You're not wrong. But if you go out there, you will die in the simulation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and they're, so they're, they're, they're like, they're like, we don't know if this is helping or not because <laughs> like the metaphor is good, but like we think he's still encouraging people to kill themselves. I really wish they would have kept the uh, other billionaire guy around. Oh, the one oh, yeah. that died in the airlock. Yeah. yeah, the flipping finger, well, yeah. well, the great thing about having a ship with like 5,000 passengers is like they can just keep introducing like, yep. like new ones. Um, but uh, so my favorite character was definitely Matt and I have like a toss up for my favorite episode. So I really love the episode where Hugh Laurie finds out that um, everyone on the bridge is fake <laughs> and like he doesn't actually control anything. And because uh, uh, I, I just felt that reveal was like really well done and uh, it really set the stage for a lot of the series to come. But then the other episode I really enjoyed was the one where there's like a beeping sound on, on the, the ship yeah. and, and they think that it means so that they're fun. running out of oxygen <laughs> And they can't find the source of the beep. And it's like one of those things where you have like a, a, a smoke detector in yeah. your house that's like low on battery and it, it'll just beep randomly <laughs> and, it, and it'll, it'll scare the fuck out of you and make you like crazy. Yeah. And because like while this is going on, like it happens every 20 minutes or mm. so, no one can get any sleep because <laughs> it keeps waking them up. <laughs> Something really subtle that I thought. So like they start turning to drugs and people think that the captain's a drug de- uh, yeah. drug addict. The yeah. sedatives were for you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's trying to sedate he's, Judd. Yeah, he's trying yeah. to get sedatives to sedate Judd. But uh, he thinks that, uh, but the, the Matt, who's his dealer, <laughs> thinks yeah. that he has like a, a, a drug problem. Yeah. So he starts spreading this rumor about him having a drug problem. This is just a ton of fun stuff in this show. Yeah. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Now that you can binge the whole season and yeah. only like half hour long, it I, is definitely de- a show you got to binge. Yeah. yeah, you could do it in an afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and quarantine for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody's at home sitting around trying to find stuff to watch. Go watch Avenue Five. You know, we all spoiled it for you. It's still funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like when you when you actually sit there and watch it, there's so many gags in every scene of the show that uh, like you know we can't do it justice. Oh, like, yeah. like you have to watch it to experience. Yeah. And it, it's one of those shows where like it may not be funny as you're watching it, but 
when you talk about it with friends, it that, becomes yeah, so much funnier. Definitely, I, I laugh more talking to you guys about it than I do when I'm watching <laughs> it. But yeah, it's a it's a great show. Highly recommended.